Hey guys, so we are on day two of our conference here, and so I'm gonna walk through everything we have running here, including the PowerPoint laptops, the confidence monitor feed, the projector feeds, the cameras, uh, the ATEM, the Zoom webinar, getting virtual participants in, the little hack we're doing to route all of our audio, because there is no actual audio person on this event, but we do have a bunch of mics and lobs and need to have sound get to the room. Uh, we have a pro presenter running some extra holding slides as well as videos, and of course the ATEM software, anything else we need. So let's walk through it. Okay, so I will start over here with our cameras. So we have our two Sony Z cams, which stands for zoom camera. So these can zoom, they take uh, power over ethernet, and then uh, I'm using an HDMI out of the back. So those are pretty nice, and that's the wide shot, and that's the close-up of the podium. And basically, I sit here in this chair. If I need to, I can stand up and move this one, which is my close-up cam, and I can just move that to whoever's talking. So it's not really hard. Easy to do it with one person, and most of them are just at the podium anyway. Okay, then starting over here, I'll start with Pro Presenter. Pretty simple playback of some slides as well as any videos. We'll route into the ATEM and then I can show up here. I am using Companion to control everything. So here's my control laptop, also running Companion in the background. So I'll show you that. So that is Companion. And by the way, this is how I control the cameras. I can control the zooms and everything like that with the controls over here, as well as the focus coloring, etc. So that's how that works. So that's Companion. And these are my two stream decks here. So this one is my ME1. If I change buttons here, it change over there in preview, okay? And then when I want to, I can just hit auto and it will do a fade. So I'll show you that. Or the cut. So this is how I don't have to use a 2ME advanced panel. So this is Perks of Companion. Over here, I have my projector feeds. So I can send anything to the projector separately from running them through the program feed. And then over here, I have what's feeding the Zoom webinar. Just so you know, everything can get ME1 when I want it to, so it's mostly on ME1. But there are a couple times when I have a Zoom participant coming in that's on Zoom webinar, but uh, we don't want to send their feed back to Zoom webinar because they're already there, so I send a holding slide or something else like that, but then I get their feed coming in either through one of these two laptops and I send them up to the projector and then I record them in the program feed to my Hyperdex. So you have control, you have companion with our stream decks and then you have our ATEM itself. So we have the ATEM here. You guys have seen this rack before. All my HDMI conversions, which funny enough, I'm actually doing a complete HDMI setup. There's no SDI running here. Uh, well, that's not completely true because ProPresenter is running through a deck link card which has SDI. So I guess there's some SDI going on, as well as, you know, conversion to the multi-views, et cetera. So I could not run this whole system with an ATEM in the extreme, and here's why. Uh, I already have eight sources, as it is with my cameras and all my outputs here, as well as I have a wireless feed coming from the podium to some wireless transmitter receivers back here. So I'm already over eight inputs, plus then I have ProPresenter running even more than eight inputs. Uh, and then I have my outputs. And I'm using a total of three different outputs right now, maybe four, depending on how you think about it and how I could route it differently. I have a multi-view. I have an HDMI out going to a web presenter. Oops, sorry, the web presenter over here. That runs into my zoom webinar uh, and then i'm also having an hdmi out go to these projectors and basically the way i get there is there's this port on the wall here and that is to feed audio and video from this system into the room okay and then i'm getting audio from the room through here now here's what's really interesting about this this was one of the things we had to adjust for so basically uh there's speakers in the room right and they're located here and in the ceiling and whatever you, whatever's being sent into the room comes out through this port. Well, this means I have a feedback loop issue, potentially. It also means I need to figure out a way to send audio in because even though there is this 
35 millimeter jack, uh, it doesn't work unless you're on the VGA. Um, and they wouldn't really give us any sort of credentials to get in and mess with the panel on the wall to fix any of this. So we have to work with what we're given. So I'm doing this little hack over here. Uh, and so this guy is a video assist. And basically I am having a feed come out of the ATEM over here into this guy. This is what gets sent to the projectors. However, I'm using this as an audio de-embedder or an audio embedder, however you want to think of it. So basically I have these two um, mini XLR or micro XLR, I forgot what they're called. They convert to normal size XLR. And then I have two feeds going into that. I have this Zoom webinar laptop. So if someone hops up on Zoom webinar, I can take a 3.5 millimeter out, convert it to XLR, get it in here, and then route that to pass through the HDMI, which then goes into the wall. So that's how this works. You have audio coming from here, into here, and then out through the HDMI. Uh, the way I set up this DM better, by the way, I'm also doing it for background music here, and I can show you an example of that right now. So if I pull up iTunes or something, and I play some music, and I'll make sure that's up, and then I'm gonna go over here to my fancy volume knob, I'm gonna turn the music up there. So we can see that audio came through channel one, all right? I have volume control specifically over that and plenty of it. And uh, XLR2 is going to be the Zoom webinar laptop. So that's how this works. The way you configure this is you go to audio and then you want XLR inputs to go to channel one and two. This HDMI is only gonna output channel one and two, okay? Um, I could set this to four and I could record stuff on the back end, but I'm not using this as a recorder. I'm just using it as an audio embedder, de embedder. Always good to have these guys in your pack. Make sure you have the correct accessories to be able to use it correctly. And that's how that works. So then pretty simple here. We have two graphics laptops. One runs our main graphics one and the other one runs a confidence monitor feed. And then you can see right now I'm sending that to the confidence monitor, but I can send whatever I want to the confidence monitor. So that's how this works. Hope that helps. Uh, other things I have, perfect cue, super important to change both slides at the same time. Oops. Let's see here. So you can see that these guys change both slides so that they're always in sync. Uh, let's see what else. Um, again, pretty simple setup. Uh, I basically just have buttons here. You can see everything happening. Watch up there. Hyperdex for records. That's the setup. Pretty simple. Hope that helps.